Hey guys, doing another update video. Seems everything I ever do is an update video. Uh, I've been doing a little bit more work on the camper. I wanted to show you an update on this TV video that I had, I think uh, five or six videos ago about this uh, TV that I got from Best Buy that we made into a 12 volt, uh, 12 volt system TV and a mount that I got. I'll throw a link up or a uh, picture of it up on the screen. Uh, this mount here is a swivel, a uh, ceiling mount or under cabinet mount, uh, which was uh, $19.99, I think it was. Pretty cheap for uh, for a mount, but it worked out perfectly for this TV. Uh, as you can see, I've got the uh, power source coming down through a hole uh, under the mount right here, and I just tapped into the 12 volt system, the light here. Uh, and as you guys saw before, I had the <clears throat> DC to DC inverter to change the voltage to the proper voltage for this TV. So as you can see, it's a nice mount to use if you just kind of want to hang out into the you know common area here we'll call it if you're not actually in the bedroom and then it's 360 swivels so we can spin it right around over this way and then you've got it for watching TV in bed and you can go ahead and swivel this puppy down like that at a nice angle for viewing and uh, that way when you're kicking back on the bed you've got your TV right there and we can uh, mirror your phone or whatever screen you may want to onto it or just uh, load in some movies or whatever you may have uh, wirelessly because this is a smart TV which is pretty nice so again this whole setup with the mount even was uh, under $200 for the mount the DC to DC inverter and the TV itself at Best Buy um, as opposed to a lot of the other uh, portable TVs that you find for RVs. <clears throat> I thought this was a pretty good deal. And uh, my idea is I'm going to probably get some type of latch or click mechanism right like this. So then when I'm not using it, I can just go ahead and shut it off. And uh, as you can see, it's just clicked right up here. It'll be out of the way. Just kind of flat, nice and flush up to the ceiling. And then when we do need it, we can just flip it down. So there's an update with it mounted. I said I was going to make a video on it. Like I said, pretty simple to mount into the ceiling. Uh, these two screws went into a, a aluminum um, ceiling joist or stud or whatever you would call it in a camper. Uh, these ones aren't. These just go into the thin thin wood. But I also put some uh, double-sided sticky tape adhesive on the mount as well. So between all six screws and that double-sided tape, this TV uh, screen only weighs seven pounds, I think it is. So it's really nothing. Um, <clears throat> So I don't think that would ever break off there. And as you can see, it's plenty adjustable up and down. And uh, this mount will work out work out good for other TVs as well. This is supposedly about the max size that you want on it. It's not designed for a large TV, as you can see, because it doesn't really have that much length to it. But that was a perfect mount for, for this situation here. All right, and the other thing that I've done is I fixed this um, window vent, which... Uh, plastic cover on the outside was all cracked really bad when I got the camper and uh, rain was just coming in and then on top of that it had um, this inner screen piece that was in it you would have to remove this outer trim which I also replaced this is all new this trim this trim and that trim all bright white as you see the old one that was in here was like a really faded ugly white so I wanted to change that out the cool thing about this one is it allows you to pull this screen out without taking this inner piece out. The other one that I had to get this screen out, it was all one piece. So you'd have to take this surround down to be able to get that out. Like I said, this one, you can just click the screen out separately, get any debris that's in there and click it back in, which was one of the big, big things, especially this time of year when you, if you open that vent up with leaves falling, a bunch of debris does get in there. So, but that's about it. Uh, nothing else really update wise in the camper. Uh, pretty much has everything in it that I need. Uh, the only thing that I'm going to change, I think, in the future is is I want to get a different couch set up than this. Um, and I'm probably going to pull this dinette setup out. I've seen a lot of them on YouTube. Uh, people do the same thing in the slide out and kind of, uh, you know, I might put like a nice desk table and then a couch or uh, maybe just a different standalone style like dinette table. But these... Uh, these are nice functional wise because it's a bed, it can be a table and it's good for storage, but they're horrible to sit in. They're very uncomfortable. The table's horrible. 
it's very floppy and flimsy and moves around and then when you sit in there your legs hit the bottom uh, so that's not anything really enjoyable to use so i mean four basic needs if you're using it every once in a while i guess it works out all right but if you want to spend any length of time inside here you're going to want something nicer to sit on so i don't even i might even do uh you know a table and chairs and um another pull out couch here so you don't lose some sleeping there because i do have the uh couple of bunks over here so we still have the ability even without any of that to sleep four people comfortably um, and then you could always set up an inflatable mattress or something if you want it on the floor but if i do anything with that i'll do a follow-up video and uh that's about it for this one all right thanks guys have a good one